get into it. Uh, Secret Invasion, probably mm-hmm. the biggest show on uh, Disney Plus right now. My yeah, man, uh, Samuel L. Jackson back on the screen. Uh, yeah, uh, five episodes in now. Uh, yeah, so far, uh, tell me what you think. Uh, where do you think they got the all time lowest stream? What, what, bruh? I mean, I like it, I like what they're trying to do. It's a good show, they spent like 250 million on six episodes so it seems like a movie like two movies um but it, it's just a tough sell these days because quantum any it wasn't that good um what else have we had we got the marvels trailer which has samuel in it so it's like well up oh, we know he didn't die um you know so it's just a lot of stuff going in the wrong direction i think like and I, I think a lot of people just aren't on marvel right now as crazy as it sounds yeah I, uh the crazy thing about that is it's messed up that a lot of people aren't on marvel because personally right. I think this is one of marvel's best shows to date right um, the action on it is superb uh as far as the actors on there i mean it's, it's a mainly black cast uh as far as right. these go i mean you got uh samuel uh, you got um, uh, Rhodey on there is uh, also one right. of the characters. Uh, so first time of any Marvel show have I seen maybe like, I don't know, three or four uh, lead black characters on there. Um, and then mm-hmm. as far as like the quality, I think uh, by far this is one of the uh, best shot shows or movies or anything mm. they've, they've put out. Um, as far mm. as like action, you don't have like the yes. corny, silly frills and the extra over the top. You know superhero hmm. stuff so far so uh hmm. um i think a lot of fans are actually missing out um overall so far i mean i've been a fan like uh happy to see samuel back in the stage uh, right I, I think he's one of the biggest characters that's been in uh the mcu history and he's kind of been absent i don't know right why, right uh, right what's going on uh hell, my man was mad he wasn't in wakanda <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. Got somebody else's secret uh, in Wakanda. Yeah, in Wakanda, yeah. You know, when you put it like that, though, I mean, to its detriment, it's like this, bruh. If you spend $250 million on a show, you it, it better be perfect. Everything better be, you know, the shots better be good. They better have, you know, the best CGI and all of that, you know? So it's, it's almost like this one was just bound to fail regardless like even though it's good it's on the level of wandavision <clears throat> you know it's just it's, it was just bound to fail like I, I just feel like they set it up to fail nobody would have thought that quantum mania and she hulk and you know whatever else came out in between would have just kind of got that lukewarm reception that was just you know they were they were thinking we're riding a high and then, you know, you got all this outside of the movie stuff going on with Quantum Mania. So I feel like it was just a it was a it was a tough sell. This was a hard, like a really hard thing. And I feel like, unfortunately, we might not ever get any shows that are grounded like this because nobody liked it. Do you think it's oversaturated? Uh, recently, I've seen uh, Iger, uh, CEO hmm. of Disney, saying that... Uh, think they put out uh way too uh, many uh ips at one time they kind of hmm. oversaturated the superhero market so to speak and they tend to kind of cut back on things uh do you think that oversaturation kind of watered down some of the you know like i said secret invasion i mean it's pretty dope for yeah yeah uh, I, you know I, I i can't say that it watered it down i think that in game just set such a high bar that it was going to be hard to follow it regardless i understand so uh you know? on the show uh so far uh and spoilers for anybody out there watching that hasn't seen the show um uh, i want to cut your mic off now uh, <laughs> one of my uh favorite characters on there so far is gravity and he's played by kingsley bandadier um, yeah probably one of the most unsub uh actors out there um but i mean Dude, yeah, dope, man. I mean, uh, the range that he has, like, I mean, as far as uh, 
uh, black action stars, uh, he pretty much has catapulted himself like up there into the tops of uh, of anyone out there. I mean, the guy is uh, front line in Secret Invasion, and uh, right. not uh, wrong. I think he's actually starring in the uh, the Barbie movie this weekend as well. So, what? Um, as hmm. far as like new actors, I mean, hmm. uh, he's probably one of the main characters in the show. Uh, Kind of, you know, did a little coup there with taking over to be a uh, general from Talos and everything. Uh, hmm. How do you see his character? Because um, we've never seen two uh, lead black characters uh, uh, as far as a villain. And uh, yeah, with uh, uh, Samuel as a hero of sorts. Um, yes. Contrasting or whatever. So how do you see them going forward uh, hmm. using him in the MCU possibly? Or do you think it's just going to be like a one-off shot as far as... Uh, using graphics in the show i'm I'm gonna give you my hope and i'm gonna give you probably what's gonna actually you know happen i think my hope is 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 that he's the guy you know he's like not the overarching villain over kang or anything but he's like in play for a little while you know i want to see him in maybe a, a show this show a movie and then maybe show up in loki or something like that uh trying to get away from Samuel or you know trying to move the scrolls forward in some direction but I just hope that this secret invasion storyline from the comics and all of that just does not end on this show but I, I you know I, I can't see them taking him and then you know catapulting him over what they already have going on with Kang um, but you know it will be interesting if they did you know it took more of an indie approach and took the smaller actors and really tried to build them up but we'll see for sure uh word on the street is and i don't uh know how true it is but they said the director was told not to read any of the comics um so everything mm. that's created in secret wars is uh mm. is, is fresh and brand new um mm. nothing uh true to the comic source um do you think that's going to be an issue to fans? Do you think that's kind of why a lot of fans are not gravitating towards the show? Or huh. do you think uh, uh, that's going to be some type of deterrent going forward? Personally, I think it was a wise move. I mean, yeah, uh, with the oversaturation and everything, I think uh, yeah. a different feel, a different fresh uh, breath of fresh air, so to speak, or whatever is brought to yeah. play. And I think that... Uh, the direction that the director is going so far is actually pretty uh pretty action-packed and more yeah the television than actual trying to stay true to the comics or whatever so. i no i i have to agree with that i mean i i feel that there is a current of marvel casuals dare i say like that this is probably better for because you know they don't know really what's going on and i think that that could have something to do with why it, it, it's not doing well but the shills you know the the us of the world they're they're still watching this anyway you know what i mean regardless of what everybody says and and what the metacritic score is and all of this they're they're still gonna watch it you know what i mean so that's kind of like it's it's kind of hard to gauge because you know i know me and and my us we're gonna watch this but then there's a whole group of people that don't even know what's happening you know so it's kind of a weird thing and you'd never say that with a marvel show or movie you know up until maybe mrs marvel to be honest and even that was good i just feel like people just didn't you know they didn't latch on to it like you know they should have but i do have hope and i want to get your opinion on this like how do you see the deadpool i keep hearing that deadpool 2 the, or the next deadpool movie um is is going to kill off kind of that fox x men and that fox marvel properties and then bring forward the new situation or what the new thing that's going on i mean honestly it needs to uh, yeah, I've heard the rumors though about Deadpool three is pretty much gonna be Deadpool versus the Fox universe. Um, good concept, I think it'll bring yeah. out a lot of uh, nostalgia from. Uh, I mean, it seems like it was just yesterday, but uh, some of these films were almost twenty yeah. years old. I mean, like 
back in the 90s getting going and everything. Uh, so I'd be excited to see Storm uh, on the big screen. Uh, yeah. Uh, Wolverine back running around again. Uh, I think uh, they did a good job setting the forefront of far, as far as like action hero movies going. Um, yeah. I think that uh, there definitely needs to be some type of sort of closing on that era. I know, you know, with Fox selling and everything, they kind of, you know, threw a void out there, whatever, with uh, some of the yeah. they were making alone compared to what uh, Marvel was making as well with Disney. Um, so I think uh, if they do go that route, I think that will be uh, a nice way to close things every off, everything off. And plus, I mean, Deadpool has always been like a uh, break the, you know, the third wall type of character where he yeah. kind of talks to uh, the audience. Yes, um, sir. It's usually... Uh, uh, fun, lighthearted. I mean, there's definitely, I mean, you know, tons of action and violence in there. Yeah. Uh, but as far as like being lighthearted and stuff, I think, uh, I think we're up for a fun film. I mean, who's not excited to see Hugh Jackman back on the screen? Facts. Um, I mean, these I are the X Men we love, bro. These are the ones we, I mean, we, I'm, I'm you know, sure that's like why we're all fans. Uh, right. Uh, everyone loves Wolverine. I think everyone wants to see him on the big screen and. Uh, I mean, I'm excited. Uh, I'll be happy to see it all go down again, especially uh, get to see, uh, you know, two former Weapon X agents uh, with Wolverine and Deadpool get to go to. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, Deadpool pretty much has some of uh, Wolverine's uh, you know, uh, DNA added into him. So, I mean, yes, uh, I think we're up for a good show for fans. I think um, it's going to be a little different than the typical, you know, MCU uh, hero outing. I think it's going to be the first time they're going to go uh, uh, rated R sorts. So, uh, mm. I mean, we'll see. We'll, we'll see how mm. it goes. Uh, now, uh, now, let me let me just bring this, hit this one point while we're here. And and it's kind of what we're kind of on the same vein we're on. It's, it's kind of off topic a little bit. But where are you at with all of the Jonathan Majors stuff like uh, and I mean nothing really specific because there's no official news, but there's just a lot of stuff. You know, it's it's a, it's a thing. Um, that's a weird situation because it, it kind of came out of nowhere, uh, right? You got somebody who's uh, catapulted to like the number one actor in the world. He had two number one movies out at the same time with Creed and uh, Ant Man Three. Um. And then there's different stories coming. Uh, uh, the initial reports was that he, uh, you know, that he he did something or whatever. Um, so I never want to take away from victims, uh, but at the same time, we've seen that uh, there's conflicting stories that uh, she might have been the attacker, he might have been the attacker. Um, mm -hmm. It all makes me wonder, like, what did he do? Like, who? who did he do? <laughs> right, right. Uh, piss off in the real world. Right. <laughs> You don't get that type of heat on you. Right. Just because. Like, they kind of came out of left field, and then they kept doubling down on him. Yes. Um, the stories now are trying to say that he's innocent. Uh, I don't know. I think regardless if he's innocent or not, I think uh, it, the damage might already be done, unfortunately. Um, I don't see Yeah. Him. I don't see him bouncing back from it. Uh, <laughs> I do know that yes, uh, it's a have, tough one. They have a lot of money behind him as far as um, projected. They haven't dropped him. Now they haven't um, dropped him. You know that that's something. And 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 that that may hold. It may change. I hope it holds because uh, I'm always rooting for us. Um, of course. But yeah, it's just it's just odd to me the way the story came out. Uh, it just kind of seemed you know, out of left field. Uh, so I'm just going to go with uh, he's uh, innocent to proven guilty. So all the facts are out. Um, on the flip side, I hope uh, uh, she's innocent to proven guilty as well. And that, uh, yeah. you know, just let all the facts come out and just let uh, the courts decide that. And hopefully, right. hey, if uh, everything is cleared, um, they let my man back into the fold because uh, his acting in, um, in uh, Loki was, uh, I mean, was he pretty much saved that show. Like, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty sure, like all the fans, kind of gravitated to his character more than anything. Um, yes. And I think by the end of that show, that's pretty much kind of what you know, brought light back into that character. So uh, we'll see. What's uh, up in there? But bruh, here it is. Could you imagine him not being in Quantum Mania? Uh, already mid film, 
with him not in it, bro, that would have just been it would have been unwatchable. I mean, let's just yeah. be honest. Like it would have been. I think like as far as this phase go, um, that was my biggest disappointment because Ant Man so far, I mean, one and two was dope. Were uh, great. Yeah, they were good uh, movies. I don't I don't like maybe the fact that they spent most of the film in the quantum world. Um, yeah. I don't yeah. I think the graphics on that were kind of out there. Uh like PS4 it. Drake's spy fortune ish. Yeah, the, yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah, I keep hearing spy kids. I, I just kept thinking Drake Uncharted, you know what I mean? Like yeah. the video game. Like what is this? Like it's just kind of weird. Like of- you a lot of my favorite parts of Ant Man to begin with was uh, the real world aspects and some right. of the aspects with uh, um, some of the side characters that they have. And um, I forgot my man's name that always do like the commentary before all the uh, the Ant Man movies that kind of break down the film. Ah, uh, yeah, Louise, Louise, he's yeah, a he's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Michael, I, Michael I Pena, Michael Pena. I kind of missed mm-hmm. him uh, on the third film. Uh, right. So yeah. Overall. Can- uh, they can we get a Louise play. MCU recap, bro? Can I? That's that's I, all I'm asking for, like a whole MCU like they, recap. They could have a whole rundown and uh, do a 20 minute little show, and I think it would probably be one of their highest uh, rated easily since you know in game and whatnot or whatever. Like easily. Let, let, now on. Hey, Brad. While we're we're this is a perfect segue. So so where are you at on um? What was it called? Um, the wolf, the one, the one with the wolf, the the um, it was kind of like a Halloween special. Um, came out on Disney Plus. Um, it was uh, it, it had Werewolf Swamp by Thing, Night. Werewolf by Night. What what'd you think about that? I actually think that was one of their dopest uh, IPs to date. Um, hmm. It kind of reminded me of like the old school style horror films. Yes, uh, yes, shows. yes. Um, they, they were still even before our time, but as a kid, we got to watch them. That was some of the stuff that was still right. On the late night, right. Loading and whatnot. Kind of remind me of like the Adams family of the monsters. Uh, yeah, that, that night yeah. Of Dracula. Um, yeah. I actually loved it, uh, especially because okay. uh, there wasn't a lot of hype behind it. It didn't give a lot of uh, uh, chance for all the the hype beats and the critics to come out there and right just, just spam it. And down right. beforehand, um, I think as a one shot and a one off, um, it gave us like a different direction, something uh, different than your typical MCU uh, shows uh, and films at the time. Um, the acting in it was superb. Uh, shot in black and white, it actually gave you like yeah, that was dynamic. fire. Like uh, that was really cool. fire. Uh, I'm sure yeah. the budget on that was uh, far lower than what they're spending. And uh, mm-hmm. most of the fans or comic fans I know uh, are just MCU or Disney Plus fans. Uh, they all seem to love it. Um, so personally, Facts. I would I would love to see uh, more uh, shows or whatever, or shorts or whatever, come out like that. Yeah. I mean, uh, what it took, it was maybe what. 10 to 20 people in the whole series the whole time yeah yeah i mean it Uh, wasn't it wasn't a large cast um you know it it seemed like it was just well directed everything was tight yeah it it was a good one and let me ask you this because because my favorite you know marvel disney plus property or or show was definitely what if and you know and and that's not including you know the movies that are on the streaming service that's not including the star wars stuff you know what i mean that's just basically marvel and any of their shows secret or what if is is really my favorite because it just showed a side of the mcu that we rarely get to see and it was the last performance of chadwick aka our black panther you know what i mean so it, it's really like to me i think it just was just perfect like how they the stories they told um having the watcher actually do something and and kind of had that little epic fight with him and him and ultron i mean i, I liked ultron i always liked yeah. ultron because it just he was just the truth he told the truth hey look you guys are are, are bad you know it's, it, it, if i take y'all out everything else is good 
it was just yeah. his means and methods, you know. But I mean, I just I loved Ultron and I loved him in that as well. I actually uh, enjoyed What If. I think that, um, mm -hmm. and it was crazy to me, uh, Disney being uh, an animated studio at heart, they don't take right. advantage of their animation studio as often as they should. Um, right. And I think, uh, right. not to you know, bring up their competition uh, with DC, but DC is far more superior with their uh, animated side of uh, Agreed. Know, shows and everything. And I think uh, Agreed. Marvel needs to actually take more advantage of uh, because they have tons of IPs that they could probably um, put out as, instead as a as an animated show, um, opposed to just um, uh, trying to do everything live action. Because some of it comes off a little cheesy, a little corny at times. True. Um, I definitely think that uh, uh, what if, uh, and maybe because I'm uh, heart struck and with, like I said, with Chad with whatever. I think that was actually yeah. like. Uh, uh, a dope, you know, uh, uh, shot or whatever, if you want to say. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, oh, yeah. That, uh, um, beyond that, I only think the only other animated thing they have going right now is uh, Moon Girl Devil Dinosaur. And okay. a lot of people aren't even familiar with that. Okay, uh, so, yeah. And that's the dope show, too. Um, so I definitely think they should take more advantage of uh, their animated studio. And Agreed. Um, I love yeah. it. I'm, looking forward still to what if too because I, I think there is a second part of the series coming yeah out. oh yeah oh um, yeah i think it's slated uh sadly we won't have uh chadwick voicing and everything in it um but you know hey uh show must go on as they say and, yes uh yeah we'll see how uh how that goes and everything uh back to uh secret invasion i do so like one thing i do want to point out i noticed um and Marvel kind of gets away with this pretty often. Yeah. Uh, but I noticed that they're... Um, so in college, we learned about what was called like a white-black buddy system. Um, and mm. they kind of have this thing going on with uh, mm. Fury and Talos. Um, mm. I think uh, it's kind of like the easy the easy way around uh, bringing in a universal audience. Uh, kind of similar to something what they did with like Lethal Weapon back in the day. Uh, mm. You get both sides of your main target audience. Mm. Uh, you have both of them supporting each other and heroes, and they both kind of, you know, fight with each other at the same time, but at the same time, they're the best of friends or whatever. Yeah. Uh, all while saving the day. Um, I think, I guess my question would want to be like, do you think uh, that was strategic, or is there like some type of underlying uh, message or whatever that they may be trying to put forward because they made him. Fury and Talos, the best of friends, but then right. at the same time they got Rhodey as a scroll, and he's Scrody. Um, let's just uh, let's just call him like he is Scrody. Like I now I just don't trust, bro. Okay, let's. Can Not I just say all, that bro, one second? I don't trust, bro. Was he really talking that shit in the in the in the um museum in in um Captain America? Was he really feeling that, bro? Is he really me, with us or uh, what? It made me question a few things. One, how long has he been a scroll? Uh, can, like, can I mean, we... he could have been for some time now because he was definitely against, uh, you know, uh, Captain and everybody else. Um, yes. And then my other thing is, um, is like, it's like, are they making Bro sell out? Like, I mean, I mean, that's, that's... <laughs> about it. I mean, he's We're so... sabotaging, uh, Bruh. Uh, theory the whole time. I mean, like, What's, what's Bro, tell on? me this: Is Terrence fucking Howard somewhere in one of them pods, and that's why they changed over to Don Cheadle? Is that what happened? Hey, that'll be a, <laughs> a crazy twist. I know uh, <laughs> Howard is uh, out there, you know, itching to get back in the mix. You I know. Mean, hey, I it truly out, was hard out here for a pimp, bro, because he was in a, a scroll pod this whole time, bro. That's hey, what happened. Um, I'm I'm hoping that uh. And this is just a theory. I'm thinking by the end of it all, um, Fury's going to find some way to uh, release a lot of the humans that are in captive uh, by the mm. Skrulls and that uh, mm. the, the real Rhodey is going to be released. We're going to see uh, that's going to be the first uh, superhero or the only superhero mm. little stint that we're going to see in the whole show. Mm. We'll see uh, War Machine get to you know, fly around, stuff up and save the day kind of thing. And then yeah. that trail in into his secret war show. Um, yeah. So I think now just theory or whatever, but you know. Uh, I mean, it, it sounds. 
It sounds plausible, just as plausible as any, my brother. I can't, I can't say that it doesn't, you know. But it's just crazy, you know, knowing that Rhodey is now Scrody, and I gotta say this: that Don Cheadle's performance as you know the the scroll and the female scroll is crazy like that's really a great performance a better performance i think be, now be, knowing that he's a scroll and a female scroll at that yeah bro bro is really uh one of the dopest actors uh he is like we don't he get is. To see uh his range as much um he played a dope character in traffic way back in the day um facts i mean Fan was on uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air way back in the day. Like his facts to where he is now is is, is dope. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's next level of transitions. Uh, what do you think about Emily Clark? Uh, Ro is Gaia on here. Uh, uh, last AKA on, uh, Game of Thrones. Yes, uh, of course. The, the mother blonde, of dragons character or whatever um she's always like, the mother uh, of dragons to me bro I, i'm sorry i don't yeah. care she, gaia whoever she's she's daenerys okay are you a fan of her on the show or are you uh because it tripped me I, out at first i just thought she was gonna be straight bad guy and then to find out that she was actually uh talos's daughter and yeah working on the inside and kind of you know like oh, okay like you know throw her back she, in the mix um i swore she was dead however way she survived that I have to go uh, delve into the scrolls power a little bit more to see how she healed herself but, uh, well she had what far. i mean you know it's like it's it's great to have plot armor and to be the mother of dragons you know i could see i, I mean in a perfect world they would bring her and they would bring um uh, my man uh the the bad guy they bring them together as kind of like graphic. the graphic yeah they bring them as kind of the holdovers, so to speak, from this, and maybe Val recruits Gravik to her her team, and you know, Guy as part of the New Avengers or something. You know, so they could go in a lot of directions, and she's a big star, and you know, seeing her in in um, Game of Thrones, I loved it. So it's like, hey, please, please. Yeah, understandable. I, you know? I, I will say another character I want to stay as a mainstay is uh, Sonya Fallsworth. Um, mm. The MI6 mm -hmm. agent, the, the, the yeah. kind of Mary Poppins uh, killer on there, yes. Or whatever. Yes. Yes. Call her. Um, she's amazing. So far, she's probably my favorite character on the show because, uh, yes. you know, stereotypically they would have her character playing like, you know, a strict, uh, hard notch type character, or whatever, but she's kind mm -hmm. of been, you know, like easy breezy. And I uh, bring it right. to Mary Poppins because, I mean, she kind of just seems, uh, I don't know, um, to enjoy it, it more. she enjoys yeah. it whatever she's doing uh, she's enjoys it and she's definitely hamming up and chewing up screen time every time she's on she's in a scene like she's probably you're i mean i when i think about it i'd have to kind of agree because when she's in a scene or when she's doing something you notice she's she's there you know she kind of like is bigger on the screen than anything else if that makes sense so yeah I, i'm with you I i'm with you there 100 percent. she's fury's probably best support so far and yes well. absolutely um, she's she however. has the chops i was i was i will say this that showing that he has a wife and a scroll wife and that she you know aged and did all these things it was like bro why didn't you have her turn into naomi campbell in 96 bruh what are you doing I think, like what are you uh, doing? For the for the time, I think it was uh, Samuel's uh, age and uh, factor in it. I don't know. I like bruh. I like the actress that plays his wife. Uh, oh, she's great, but bruh, uh, she could have been Naomi Campbell ninety six in twenty twenty six, bruh. You dig? Do you think so? Do you think um, overall, like, because she had a chance to kill him? It was yeah. her uh, job. Um, she kind of superseded that and stuck with her word and her marriage over um, supporting graphics agendas. Um, do you think that was uh, a message they were trying to send out there or is it just uh, hmm. great writing in the part? Because um, I always kind of look at some of these things hmm. as like, what's the underlying message that they're trying to send here or whatever? Yeah. Um, I, you know, that's an interesting question, my bro. I, you know, I, I could not imagine um 
Mar and it may have been happened before, but I could not imagine Marvel showing a uh, black woman and a black man shooting each other. Like I just, you know, not to say that that's faux pas or anything like that. It's just Disney showing that just seems kind of out, you know, out there for them. Um, but you know, it was, it was. I feel like it was a great scene. The setup was great. Like I enjoyed that whole lead up to that situation you know seeing her go pick up the gun and all that kind of stuff it was really dope i felt but you know also like i said i just couldn't get over the fact that bruh she could have been naomi camel 96 my nigga I, I don't understand like i i'm just having a hard time with that personally i was happy she didn't shoot him because all right so this is my thing and it's just you know hey i could i could be reading into stuff too much but yeah um the theme i'm noticing in this phase is that every villain so far has been uh portrayed by a black guy so we got uh mm. um we got graphics now uh yeah uh and Ant kang. Three, we have kang um, yeah if you go to uh the guardians of the galaxy uh, uh three um, yeah uh, another black uh, villain, uh, which was a superb performance, probably one of the greatest performances of a villain of all time. Um, kudos to that brother. Uh, uh, I can't remember his name, uh, the actor's name. Uh, but For, um, oh yes, one yes, thing yes, I just to yes, is yes. That all the villains in this phase have all been uh, black men. I mean, even uh, but but I will interject and say, Gore the God Butcher. We can't forget about Gore the God Butcher, and he sure, is, sure. you know, that's he. I feel could have been better, you know. Not saying that a black dude could have played him better. I'm just saying he could have been better, though. He did well playing him, you know. He he, he did well. Like I can't, I, the actor's name escapes me right now, but he Ethan Hawke. He did no, not Ethan Hawke. Um, what is that dude's I name? Christian right. Bale. No, it was Christian Bale. Christian Bale it was, yeah, Christian yeah. Bale. It was well, Batman. Christian so yeah, think, Batman uh, did a good job. I think they they got to do a better job of killing off characters so quick. Like some of these characters, yes. are like super powered, extreme. I think they need to walk through these characters a little longer and build them up a little bit because he was kind of short lived. Very. I don't know. Very uh, and and so, I don't want to see you know I I just I mean I I may be speaking for a small group of the Marvel fan base or the Shields whatever you want to call us over here okay but I would much rather see him in a more movies than the little girl and and I mean you know no disrespect to anybody or anything but come on man who 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 understandable. Some of, some of these villains you're looking at, like, ah, who? Really I don't know what's going on. Like, that. like, bruh, like at this point, like, like I'm going to just say this, and I have been every Marvel property, all of it, everything. But at certain points, especially with um, Love and Thunder, um, especially with Quantum Mania, I, I kind of felt like I was just like, going because i didn't want to miss out on anything that was going to happen or was going on you know so it it kind of is almost like um that the sunk cost fallacy you know and it is and it shouldn't feel like that there's still good movies and they're still fun to be had but at a certain point it's like dang i i, I can't miss this one because then you know it's gonna build on this and you know it's kind of all over the place i understand so anything else out there you looking forward to uh, on Disney? Um, um hold on, Star yeah, Wars no, let's shows. let's talk about this. Yeah, I was gonna say let's let's transition to the Star Wars shows. I will say this. Um, I want to get your opinion really on the you know the Mandalorian, Mandalorian, Ahsoka, and and the direction that it's going. Do you feel that we're in a good spot? Do you feel because you know Dave Filoni? The Filoni verse, as it's been called, is going to eventually become a movie with all these characters, and I'm I'm excited for that. But I don't want to have another Boba Fett where there's it's pretty much a setup for this other show. It's not even its own thing, you know. And that kind of was like Boba Fett's sweet, and we learned all of his story, and you know it was kind of nothing to it. And we saw Cad Bane. We saw Cad Bane live action, and. We're getting to see the man, the myth, the legend, the general, um, 
live action play by Mads Mikkelsen. I mean, that's going to be great. So it's, it's like we got a lot coming, but, you know, how is it going to really work out with the shows plus a movie? I would say, first, I'm a, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. Um, mm-hmm. All the way back from watching the originals to the prequels. Um, mm-hmm. Cartoons, all the animated shows, everything current. Um, the shorts, uh, even the comics. I mean, I'm versed on pretty much everything. Mm-hmm. Star Wars. Um, so personally, I'm a fan. And mm-hmm. anyone out there who is, you know, talking down or... Like a lot of the time, people talk about shows before they even seen them. And yes, that. uh, that's true. Personally, no, that's true. If you actually took advantage and watched uh, the Clone Wars, which might be one of the greatest Star Wars series of all time, animated or not, um, there's a lot of uh, depth that was added to that. And along with, if you continue on that with the Rebels, um, the Bad Batch, and everything going forward. It all kind of leads you up to what we're getting currently right now. So, um, a lot of people aren't as familiar with Ahsoka. Uh, me personally, I'm, that's probably one of the, I think, the smartest moves they can do. I mean, you got basically mm-hmm. got Vader's uh, protege about to feature <laughs> right? on show. So, which means that you're going to you're going to have to see Vader. Uh, you're going to have to see Anakin. You're going to have to see. Mm-hmm. Uh, um rex you're gonna have to see mm. you know some of the mainstay characters that uh we all grown to love um which also means that i mean it's, if watching the rebels again it kind of tells a lot of the story that's going to go forward um you kind of already know what's going to happen to the dark saber um you kind of already uh know what's going to happen with both tan and uh um it's 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 just a lot of foreshadowing already been told if you just have yes. to go watch yes. you know, uh, some of the extra stuff like um, so personally, I'm excited because I'm going to get to see a lot of the characters that I've grown to love. Uh, you get to, um, I'm hoping I get to see Ezra. Uh, yeah. Like if said, we don't get a live action Ezra, bro, I'm done. Okay. I, I, I need Ezra like live action. Coming. Like it has to come. It uh, has to. I love Grogu. Uh, of course. Of course. Um, the baby. But I'm I'm also excited to see you know uh, where they can take the universe. And, and personally, I think. Uh, uh, each season has gotten better. Um, yeah, that's, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. My personal opinion. So, yeah. I, I I definitely agree with that on the Mandalorian. Um, and it wasn't that I I didn't like Boba Fett. Look, like like you said, I'm like a a fanboy of all of this. Like especially Star Wars. You know, that's I feel like Star Wars and Star Trek are the reason why I like any of this. So it's like if if it's not good. I'm going to be more harsh than... It's like Destiny 2. It's just like that. I love them so much. I'm going to be harsh on them because that's what I, you know. So, you know, I, I want to see all of these characters. And Ahsoka is like the best. Plus, if you have Rosario Dawson in your stuff, you're definitely going number one or top. You either have Rosario Dawson or Zoe, Zoe Saldana. And you're you're up there, okay? You're going to have one of the top selling movies, period, okay? I would just have them in it regardless. Like, hey, you know, find your something for her to do but yeah I, i'm i'm looking forward to it and and i feel like once i said like i said if i don't get a live action extra ezra bro i'm 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 gonna have a problem i'm gonna have a problem do you think we'll continue to see some of the uh original characters vader uh luke skywalker uh etc they both kind of had you know little cameo appearances in some of the shows yeah you, you know i can't even lie about that bro I'm, i can't even sit around and act like what we got in the last jedi with luke just that nah i i just didn't like any of that and it was like i know that he was trying to be the opposite of um uh, joss whedon and and all of that and i get that but it just really it kind of is like okay i don't want any of that let's just go with you know kind of the rogue ones the all of that forward let's just go from there instead of kind of rehashing all the backstory you know maybe fill in the time between um you know the end of the or the end of the prequels and the sequels or or, you know however that goes the yeah the end of the prequels and the sequels yeah fill in some of that time or show me some time that i've never seen like when when Obi Wan was kind of just 
wandering and became Ben Kenobi. Show me that. Don't show me rehash stuff or, you know, don't bring Anakin back and only give us a little bit. Like, Obi-Wan gave us enough. Like, gave that me more than enough. But I just feel like bringing Luke and, and you know, all of that, it's kind of... Let's just let's just go forward, and I feel like that's what the Filoni verse kind of is offering us. Not a, a not a reboot or anything, but just taking a different thread and going in a different direction. Understandable. Yeah, I'm with you. Uh, I'm definitely excited to see where it goes because uh, I mean this this is this is it. This is exactly yes you know, the transition that you want. I mean, because you get yes. to see. Uh, uh, what happened with Ahsoka and everything after? Yes, uh, after Rebels. Jedi, uh, yes, yes. Um, so, uh, hopefully, like I said, we get to get some of these mainstay characters to pop in, and um, I don't know, man. I'm excited to see where it goes because personally, uh, there's some I may like more than others. Um, but yeah. So far, I'm I'm pretty uh, versed with uh, the way the show has gone. Um, one thing about the Mandalorian and Boba Fett. I can't say I the the original set that they have where they're just uh, yes. in that desert town or whatever. Um, yes. They need to up, update that a little bit. They need to expand that verse a little bit. Um, the graphics yes. in there, the shots were kind of mundane, or so to speak. But uh, yeah, other than not that, visually um, appealing. Yeah, but I think the the last season of the Mandalorian. I mean that uh, that might have been one of the yeah. best uh, Star Wars shows out there uh yeah off gideon uh dope character dope. Uh, I, I don't i don't know no one that's not a fan uh my guy might be the greatest actor of all time he got his head yes. licked in uh spike lee joint way back in the day way I mean, back in the dizzy bro didn't uh, he <laughs> he i mean Wars, yes I mean, Yes, Far uh, Cry Jana games. Barlow might be uh, yeah. one of the, the greatest actors, uh, unsung actors that we have. Oh, yeah. There, so. And we can't even um, say unsung anymore. It's just he all. was in Do the Right, right Thing. You know, he, he, he just ain't, he's not Denzel or, you know, but he still has his he's own thing. There, like, yeah, he, oh, he for sure. For thing. sure. Uh, he's up there. If he, he's on the, um, if we're talking about, the black actor tier list, bruh, he's he's in the A or S tier. You know what I'm saying? If Denzel's the only one in the S tier or Michael B. Jordan's the only and Denzel the only ones in the S tier, then he's A. You know, but that's that that is definitely a topic for another day. We're definitely gonna have to do the black actor tier list because you know, there's just a lot there's a lot in there. You know, there's a lot. Yeah. For sure. Well you look, know. man, hey. We don't want to drag this on too long. Hey, I appreciate yes, sir. you know coming on here and talking. Yes, uh, sir. For our first time out, I don't think uh, we did too bad. And no, 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 no. What's something you think uh, we should talk about? You know, next go round. Bro, we we're gonna have to come up with something, but I mean, we might even have to just go ahead and do the tier list, bro. You know, make that our next our next topic. That's a big thing, and I mean that that spans Star Wars. All the good black movies, everything. We could, you know, we got a lot of tears that we got to go through. Hey, great. Hope everybody, I appreciate you stopping in with us tonight. Uh, yes, my sir. Is, uh, Mac, got my man Marley over here. Yes, and, sir. Uh, uh, make sure to like, subscribe, share, and uh, let us know in the comments uh, what you'd like to see us talk about and how we can improve this. Oh, yeah. Peace.